This recording will detail how to use Fair Shopping using Travelport SmartPoint. Fair Shopping is the ability to shop for fares that meet your customers' needs. It can be used in two distinct ways, either with an existing booked itinerary to see if there are other more suitable alternatives to what you already hold, or without a booked itinerary and as the starting point of the search for the flights and fares that will best suit your customer's requirement. It can take into account the number of passengers travelling and whether they are adults or children. It then performs a search incorporating these factors. It has revolutionised the way in which many travel people work and moved the day-to-day -day work routines in a lot of cases from checking a tariff display, searching availability screens, followed by booking seats and finally pricing an itinerary to a single process which is as simple as one, two, three. Let's take the example of this booking which is a journey for two adults booked in the economy cabin from London Heathrow to Amsterdam. You wish to compare the prices of different airlines and different flight times. This is what fair shopping can achieve. The total amount is reflecting the price for all passengers rather than per passenger. As you can see, Fair Shopping provides instant access to a wealth of pricing provided by Galileo 360 fares and searches for low fare options and available flights. Fair Shopping can use public, private and net fares within the 360 fares database, calculating the fares and itineraries with up to 8 flight segments and 9 passengers. Cryptic entries, smart panel or calendar can be used to achieve these results. Let's look at the following itinerary for two people from London to Dubai that we have booked in economy class. We can compare the price with other classes on the same flight and with other airlines by typing FS. The number of pricing and itinerary options is shown at the top of the display. Pricing options are returned on a low to high order by default. Additional costs may apply, for example, credit card payments. The first pricing option is corresponding to a best available fare for the flights booked. After this, the remaining options are shown in ascending order of price. You can see that from pricing option 2 onwards, we have the ability to click on Book, Rebook, details icon, rules icon and to see if there are further itinerary options available for that price. If there are multiple itinerary options, a plus symbol with a number of itineraries available is displayed. Let's now talk about what they are actually for. Book will add the new flights to your currently held itinerary without removing any existing flights. Rebook is similar, however, it will cancel what is currently held and replace it with the new itinerary. The details icon displays information relating to the fare, including things like not valid before and not valid after restrictions. The rules icon will open up the fare components used to construct the fare and a detailed reading of all fare rules is available here. Finally, the plus symbol and a number will display alternative flight combinations for this price. So far, we have just entered the most basic fare shopping entry of FS. However, other options can be added by clicking on the filter icon on the right of the screen. This will display additional filter options, for example, specific carriers, direct flights, and time requirements. Another way to view pricing and filter results is to click on the map icon on the right hand side of the screen. This provides an excellent visual tool that also displays the selected routing on a map. To exit the map, click on the arrow on the top left of the screen. 
Fair shopping can also be used without an itinerary. You may use the search options found in the search menu. It is also possible to access fair shopping using the calendar tool by selecting the tools menu and the calendar option. By highlighting a date range where the start date represents the outbound and the end date the return, and by right-clicking with the mouse, the flight shopping search screen will appear. The process already described would now be followed to complete your shopping experience. Here we notice the absence of the rebook option. This is simply because there is no existing itinerary which requires a rebook. All other options remain in place and work in exactly the same way as before. So in conclusion, we can say that when using Travelport's fare shopping, there are many options to help find the right fare to meet the passenger's requirements. You have the choice of using easy fill-in formats or cryptic entries. Either will give you a wealth of possibilities with regard to fares and competitive pricing.